Hey, it's Chris with photodabbler.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to type around text or uh, type around a path. Cut. Never mind. No, I'm not cutting. All right. Uh, to type around a path or on a path, first we need a path, right? So uh, let's do a circle first. Uh, if we click on our shapes tool and grab the ellipse, um, fill is on, on white, which it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to drag out a circle right here. All right, so um, another thing to do maybe, let's put some guides up here. Let's go view, guides, new guide layout. And then in here we can, I don't know what I was doing on that one, but just do two columns and two rows and everything else blank. And we'll hit OK. So we have our... our um, center point here all right so that was pretty close but let's go ahead and hit our move tool and align to canvas and then center center and there we have it all right so control t all right that looks pretty good all right so now let's grab our type tool so t is the shortcut or you can click over here in this little uh, box right here for your horizontal type tool okay so now i have um, uh, north then font I mean it doesn't matter you can change all this stuff after you type uh, but I have orientation on left center or right okay uh, you can have these on anything you want okay it's just going to behave a little bit differently when you when you type on the path to start with but for me I normally will put it on the center and then just click on the center point I mean you can click anywhere on there as long as that let me back out of that. As long as that um, tool turns to the little squiggly. All right. So you see it has the little square around it. And then if you're inside that path, it has a little circle around it. But if you're on the path, it turns to that little squiggly. So we can put our, we can put our text right there. All right. So what happens, um, it lines up in a weird spot, right? So uh, lorem ipsum, I don't want it to start here. I want it to start... Um, you know, maybe in the center up here or maybe over here. So we need to move this around, right? And the, the easiest way is to do a transform, you know, hit control T and just rotate it around, but that's really not a good way to do things. All right. So let's go to our selection tool here. Okay, you probably won't use this tool very much in Photoshop. I don't use it very much unless I'm doing type. All right, so um, when you have this tool selected, you see how it has an arrow on it, left, and then this has the middle. So we can take this and drag this arrow to right there. There's a little X on that. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that would be our starting point for the text. Okay, and then we come back down here and drag it up to the line here and that's our ending point so that's our text um, perfectly lined up okay and then we can make our changes we could just double click on the text and then just hit backspace and i'll just hit photo dabbler tutorials or something like that whatever text that you wanted to write okay so we have that and then you can just, um, you know, make your changes, you know, make it bigger or smaller, whatever, change your font, uh, add some later styles to it, what have you. All right. So that will line it up on the um, perfectly centered. OK, so as long as we have your start point here, your end point here, you type it out, the alignment is going to be centered up right. OK, but now we want to put something on the bottom of the circle. All right. So. Basically, I'm just going to copy that. Okay, so we control J that to make a copy. Now, we need to flip it around, right? So if we drag our, our text down like this and drag outside of the path, we're dead centered down here. Okay, but... It's upside down, so we're still on this selection tool, right? So basically, we need to flip it inside there and just hover over it till them them arrows show up, and then just drag up. 
okay? But then here's the problem. We can't see it, right? We want, we want it to look like this on the bottom, okay? So we need to move that text now that it's facing the right way we need to move it down underneath here so uh, to do that we need to adjust uh, the baseline all right so in your character panel um, this little setting right here is your baseline okay if you don't see that just click on the three dots and it'll come up okay so i've done quite a few circles and i know probably minus 40 is going to put it pretty close okay i was wrong this time all right Let's make this bigger. We have our line here. You can drag this until it lines up onto that line or close to it. Okay. You can also click in there and use your arrow key up and down. Okay. So that's dead on the line where I want it. Okay. So it, it's dead on the line where I want it. And now I want to space both of these texts equally away from the circle. All right, so say I'm making like a t-shirt or something like that, and I want this um, text to not be right on this circle. Say this is a logo or something like that. I want to move this up a little bit, and I want to move this down a little bit. Now the reason why I put... Uh, this right on the baseline first and then this right on the baseline second is that we can make it equal uh, when we move the baseline again if that makes sense hopefully it did all right so we're going to click on this top one and i probably should just make this top or yop i can't type all right if we turn it off yeah it is the top one all right so i want to move this off there 10 points all right so we're gonna we're gonna it's on zero we'll just type in 10 and now it's 10. now we're gonna do some math here okay don't be scary it's not algebra or anything like that but we want to move this down 10 so we need to add 10 to this right so instead of minus 77 we make it minus 87 and boom perfect okay i hope that didn't confuse you but you just mess around with it Put it on the baseline first uh, before you start moving it off, or if you know exactly, because this, depending on what font size that you have, this number is never going to be the same to be on the baseline. Okay, so if you have a font that's 40 points, this number is going to be different. Okay, to get it right on the baseline. That's why just do your top text, copy it, flip it down to the bottom, and then change your baseline on the bottom so it's lined up and then add your spacing okay do it however you want but that's the easiest way for me all right okay so that's typing on a circle all right pretty simple all right so now that that's all done and out of the way i'm going to click on my top layer click on my ellipse put it in a group and we're just going to name this one circle and then I'm just going to turn it off and we will go ahead and go on to the next one, uh, which is going to be the rectangle or the triangle, polygon, whatever one you want to use. So I'm going to drag out a square close to it, um, grab my move tool, center it up, hit control T again. Okay, so control T will reveal the path. All right. Another way to do this, not to confuse you any more than I probably already have, is on the rectangle tool. I, I leave it on shape. It works in Photoshop 2023. I don't know about the, the older versions, but sometimes you have to make sure this is on path. Okay, and then you drag out your square or whatever, and it's on a path. All right, and then you can, you can center up your path. like so all right anyways all right so go to your type tool click on this what happened okay when you're using this tool or or, or your type tool everything that you did on your last thing is going to still be in here all right so 
we have our baseline at minus 87, so it just moved everything down 87 points. So we need to reset this to zero. All right, hit zero, and it should be right on the path where we want it. Okay, and then, you know, same thing on this one. We can move our uh, starting and ending points, drag them around where we want it to start and end. Okay, until till we're happy with it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Okay, we can move this around wherever, flip it in, flip it out, put stuff on the top, put stuff on the bottom the same way the circle was, exact same way. All right, just you just have to duplicate it, flip it, and move your starting and end points around. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop that one. All right, so same thing. If you want to do a triangles or, or the polygons, whatever, okay. But say we just want to make, I don't know why my thing does that. Sometimes when I click this, it just, it goes all wonky. All right, so we want to just make a, like a squiggly line and put, put type on it. All right, so we're going to have to use our pen tool for that. So the pen tool is over here, or you can hit P on your keyboard for pen. And then we'll just drag out a line here drag a little curve and then maybe drag a little curve like that grab our type tool i'm going to put this on left to make like life easier and there we have it okay so we have our type on a path okay so the next um the next thing is basically the same thing you can do any type of path that you want all right so say you had this path here and you wanted to type it out boom your text is on that path, but you will run into some issues sometimes like this uh, text down here isn't really looking right. So how would we fix that? Um, basically, I would just click in on the very last letter that's legible and you just kind of hit the space bar to move it down. That's the only way I know to do it. Um, some some things aren't meant to happen correctly all right so you have to kind of find a workaround all right so yeah this this works but if you have a like a real sharp corner like this or like if you were going to do it on a star um, stars are kind of hard uh, sometimes because of the the corner so you have to just you can click inside the text and hit your space bar or you can adjust your um, spacing over here between letters um, the easiest way for me is just do it that way. All right. So, um, I think that is going to wrap us up on this one. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Hit like, and subscribe if it helped you. If it didn't leave a comment and tell me why. Thanks for watching.